As promised, joining me now, Melanie Sloan, Executive Director of CREW, Citizens for Responsibility and Ethics in Washington. Thanks for joining us. You could have almost a full-time job uh, filing complaints against John Ensign. The crew has been on this from the beginning. Let me just preface my remarks by saying no one paid us to go after John Ensign. It was really our pleasure. Abramoff has admitted to bribing as many as 20 members of Congress. Campaign contributions for legislation. It's a political witch on. Former Majority Leader Tom DeLay. He admonished for failing to carry out his duties. So today I am announcing announcing my intention to resign. Mark Foley. Charlie Rangel. Robert W. Ney. Guilty. William Jefferson. John Edwards. Senator Menendez. Congressman Randy Duke Cunningham. The truth is I broke the law. We're about right and wrong and not about black or white, Republican or Democrat. And it is flat out wrong for a candidate for the U.S. Senate to be stealing her campaign funds. You think this somehow changes things on Capitol Hill? And Politicians are doing huge favors for their biggest donors. FEC and the IRS have both been pathetic. Hold up your money! Too much money is being spent and I don't think American democracy is better off. You didn't get that money from anybody else. If there are people engaged in shenanigans, it undermines Americans' faith in our elected officials. And now the organization known as Citizens for Responsibility and Ethics in Washington wants to know why. Your group's list is basically a play-by-play, -play, if you will, on corruption. Crew has named Buchanan one of the most corrupt lawmakers in Washington. One of the most corrupt in Congress. One of the most corrupt members of Congress. One of the most corrupt members in Congress. A report from Citizens for Responsibility and Ethics in Washington singles out 82 members of Congress for putting family members on their payroll. A new report from the watchdog group Citizens for Responsibility and Ethics in Washington. Fifteen former Bush administration officials hold positions with companies that do business with their old agency. Folks are there to further their own financial interests rather than our public interests. So no disrespect to any of you intended personally, but the fact is America doesn't trust you. A government watchdog group now says more than 10 million White House emails are missing. People around the world admire our government for being an open form of government. And here we have the vice president who is undermining that completely by making everything he does and every piece of paper a secret. The American people deserve to know the truth about so many scandals that Karl Rove has been involved in. Joining us now is the man who first diagnosed the David Vitter problem. The Senate Ethics Committee is responsible for that. Mel Melanie Sloan's been working on this. Melanie Sloan says, quote, they didn't do their job last year, and I don't think they'll do their job next year, unquote. This has been a problem in Congress for a while now, where the inmates are basically running the asylum. There is no oversight over Congress. The scandal in Washington isn't what's illegal, it's what's legal.